Hi everyone. I thought I'd uh, just start with the uh, glazing because um, otherwise it takes so long and I get a little nervous because it takes so long and then I get, you know, I just uh, <laughs> do it too fast. But the thing is that what I'm using right now is a uh, just a gloss medium and uh, you can buy that in any art store or online and I'll show you what I'm using that's this one gloss medium so what it does it binds the uh, pigments that I'm using I'm using primary elements so I'll put a little bit in in the little cup just a little bit of that medium and then I put my brush in it load up a little bit of that medium and then I take the primary elements I dip my brush in there just a little bit on the tip as you can see and then I put it on here so what you want to do is sort of go in the uh, in the direction that the painting is going so I'm doing this outer the outer rim and following it way to the to the middle and as I'm doing that I am um, taking different colors so that it'll give this sort of a sheen and the colors will sort of move into each other and because it's gloss medium as you can see it, it lets the um, the transfer come through and it lets the um, the swipe in the background come through and you can take it as far as you want you can do multiple colors on top of each other but you do have to watch out with that because then it doesn't um, totally stay transparent so you have to watch out how much you put on there so that's about all I want from that color then I'm coming in with a uh, purple a wisteria it's a, a very light color, but you want some um, some different colors just shining through, giving that illusion of mother of pearl. That's what I'm going for. Just a little bit here and there to give it those beautiful, beautiful pearly colors. See that? You can just go over it all the way and mix them into each other a little bit and that'll give you the illusion of that mother of pearl thing maybe a little bit up here that's about it a little bit more a little bit here that's about it now I'm going to come in with the kiwi color see how that pops up on the uh, uh, that's nice too see how you can make it come off the off the uh, off the pour it's sort of like um, you know picking it up then I'm going to go for some uh, stargazer that's a, a very light blue just a little bit here and there Because I, I just really like the um, how they all work with each other and as you can see it's really shiny because it's of course it's uh, mica or mica or whatever you call it okay now let's take it to the next level so I'm gonna get my glitter Now I have a lot of uh, a lot of glitters. This this is my stash. <laughs> I love my stash. So what I'd like to do is take a really pretty bright bright color that matches. This matches. Look at that. And I I really want to stress that you do 
you know, before you do anything, <laughs> watch if it's, uh, if it's exactly what you're looking for. So then what I do is take some of my glove, load up my brush again, and put the glitter on, and just go around a little bit here and there. Not too much. Because this is going to uh, sparkle a little bit and give it more of a 3D look. So loading up the brush again. See that? Putting it on there. And then after we're going to uh, be um, varnishing this with a, uh, I think I will do a glossy varnish because of all the uh, the mica of mica and all the uh, glitter that I'm putting on. I think uh, a glossy varnish will look really cool. Okay, got everything off my glove. Now that's enough of that color. Now I'm going to go for a little bit more sparkle. I think I'll even try this one, the holographic one, because of all these beautiful colors. Because there's greens and blues and that's about what's in here. So loading back up that brush. I found uh, the shop that sells this stuff, but I'm not going to be buying it because I have to buy, uh, I think, 244 of these. And I do not know where, which shop I, uh, I bought this. Because I do so much online shopping that I've totally lost track where I bought it. And it was pretty expensive, too, for a glitter. Which I don't understand because normally glitters aren't that expensive. medium on there, take some off. Yeah, I think I'd like a lot of glitter around this spiral. That'll look cool. A little bit more on the glove. Loading up a little. Yeah, this looks this looks good. It's making a little noise because it's not totally flat. Let's see. Yep, this is cool. I like it. Just brushing it in a little bit more. Yep, this is it. I'm going to stop right here. Now, another thing you can do is a... Um, you can do a wash around it to make it darker or lighter. And... I'm not sure if I can show you without ruining it. Um, let's see. Like if I were to take a little bit of this, the uh, Prussian blue, and put it 
putting a little bit of that stuff on my uh, table. And you could go around here just to give an illusion of a little shadow. And it brings it out just a little bit more, as you can see. And I think I'd like one up here a little bit down here see that that is nice see that just pops off the uh, canvas a little bit more Now I'll pull it through here too. And let it fade a little bit like that. I do want it to fade up there too. Just a little bit like that. That's enough. Yeah. Now it pops just a little bit more. So this is it. This is what I'm going to be uh, leaving it as. Of course I'm going to varnish it with a nice glossy varnish. But this is it. So another thing that I, I will show you is the, um, the little jars of primary elements. There you go. This is the stuff that's on here that glitters. It's made by Color Art, as you can see here. So if you want to buy them, go over to www.colorart.com. Let me see if I can get you in really sharp so you can see it. Yes. Now the colors I've used today on this is African Jade. And I'm not sure she has all the colors. Leslie was uh, toning down all those colors. She had too many. But I think these are in Kiwi. African Jade and Kiwi. So these are two are very important. Then I have the Wisteria for the little bit of purple. See that? Wisteria. And I had a little bit variety color that's Guatemala green I think she mentioned that she was keeping this one too and stargazer this one the light colored this is stargazer those are the colors I used and what I used it with is a gloss medium it doesn't have to be Vallejo you can get any gloss medium you like it all works pretty much the same it's a lot of binders and a lot of glossy stuff to make it pop so that's what you can use and right now this is finished um, I'm gonna let it <clears throat> dry for at least about mm, I say two days and then I'm gonna varnish it so it'll be ready for me to sell it about Friday I guess that's when it'll be dry depends on how many layers of, um, of uh, varnish I put on it see I have this one. I don't know if you remember this one that I did a while back. Look how shiny it is, but what happened, <clears throat> the first layer I put on here, it cracked a little bit. See that? Can you see the really... If you just look at it, you know, if it's hanging on a wall, you won't even see it, but if you look up close, you see the little cracks. <coughs> <coughs> And that's where, um, that's why I, I'll be selling these as oops paintings. It's it is pretty nice the uh, the glossiness and everything, but you know those little cracky things. Well, you don't really see it, but I don't know. We'll see about that one. And there was something else I wanted to show you guys. Oh yeah, that's this. This is kind of cool to do too. This is done with uh, the Vallejo fluid watercolors. 
but I can imagine you can do this with all kinds of paint. So the only thing you need is sort of a paper that doesn't take up the paint, and this one does. So I've been, uh, I've been searching for the right paper. Now, if you were to put, like say, a, a couple of drops of paint on there, but then I do watercolor, not the, uh, not this one. Well, this is fluid, so maybe it'll work. Who knows? And a little bit of brown. I like the brown. And all you really do is fold it together and press it down, and then open it again. And look at that, how beautiful that is. It might even work with Vallejo, look at that. That's even better than I um, I imagined it was going to be. Wait a minute. I like that even better than with the watercolor. <laughs> oh boy. So let me play with this just a little bit. Oh no, I shouldn't have done that on both sides. All you have to do is do one side. And then, you know, because you fold it together, it'll take it. But it might be cool. Who knows? Oh, and we want a little bit of orange here. Let me take the, uh, the painting away before I ruin it. <laughs> Yeah, then be like me to ruin the painting. Now, that's kind of cool. I like that. That is really nice. There's some pretty structure in these uh, wings. It's like sort of an in insect. And I was just thinking around it that I put some pen uh, around it to outline it. But as you can see, it looks uh, looks kind of cool. And I might, you know, take this to uh, to the next level. This is too much color now because I don't think it's uh, pretty with that much color. But um, you can do a lot of stuff with it, making all these insects. And I did see this online. Um, it was the same person that did those backgrounds with the uh, alcohol, uh, Gerda Lip Lipsky. So if you want to see how she does that, um, go to uh, YouTube and uh, put in Gerda Lipsky. And you will see how she does these. She makes uh, beautiful, beautiful like insect things. And to tell you the truth, I don't even think this is ugly. I, th I really like this. It has a lot of possibilities. Now, you have to think away those brown spots because that's where I just, I don't know, I, I think I spilled something. But if you look at this, this part, this is, uh, it has something to it, doesn't it? Look at that. If you look at it up close, see that? And even for um, a jewelry or something, you could take out pieces. That'd be kind of cool. Yep, okay. Long enough video. Yes, too long. Um, next up will be... I still have the uh, little seahorse, but I'm going to finish the little seahorse uh, some other day. I'm not sure. Um, I think I want some seaweeds or something, or coral or something going on. Just the seahorse is not enough. I think the shell is enough for for the big painting, but here this one needs a little bit more, and I'm not sure what I'm going to put on yet, so I'll probably show you when I'm finished with it, right? Okay, so let me get one. No, I'll do that in the uh, in the next video. I was going to show you the, the resin that I did yesterday. I'll do that in the next one. So... Thank you all to pieces. Love you all to pieces. Liebe euch alle. And I will see you in the next video. Bye bye.